In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the multi-level filters available in the Divi Filter Grid plugin, which is available at DiviPlugins.com. When you first add the Divi Filter Grid module to your page, the default query type is going to be basic, which limits the results to post only. And you'll see in the grid I have uh, blog post, and then as my filter, I have post categories. The basic query type can only list, only display this setup, blog post in the grid results and post categories in the filter. If you need to change, uh, if you need to display any other post type or any other taxonomy in your filters, you'll need to change the query type from basic to advanced. Once we change it to the advanced query type, now we have an option to select our post types the default is post and if I click on that I have the option to select any custom post type that's registered on my website right now it's limited to post pages and projects if you have a plugin like WooCommerce installed you would have products uh, if you have a events calendar plugin installed you would see events so any registered custom post type will become available in this pop-up window I'm going to leave it as post for now, so we'll leave it as the default. And then if we scroll down to filters, you'll see we have a use multi-level filters option. This is only available, again, in the advanced query type. If we change it to basic and go back down, you'll see there is no use multi-level filters option, only a multi-select. So multi-level filters is only available if we change the query type away from basic to advanced or one of the other query types so we're going to go back down to filters and we're going to turn on our use multi-level filters if i don't turn it on uh, i can choose to change the taxonomy so the default is categories i can choose to display tags uh, if i don't want to if I don't want to display multi-level filters but the default is going to be categories and then if I want to choose to display multiple levels I can turn on the use multi-level filters this will open up a new toggle for use parent child levels uh, we'll discuss this in another video but this is uh, each level will be created based on the hierarchy of a single taxonomy so uh, if you have a parent category and then a child category and then a grandchild category, each level will be generated based on that hierarchy. So again, I'll uh, do a different video on that. So we'll ignore that for now. In most cases, you're going to want to drop down to the multi-level taxonomies field. And if we click on that, here we can choose uh, the taxonomies that we want to display. By default, it'll it'll just be categories. So if I want to change that, I can start adding uh, the taxonomies that I want to display. For now, I'm going to choose category and post tag, and these are the two default taxonomies that come with WordPress and are assigned to blog posts. So here we have uh, level one, we have our categories. Level two, we have our tags. Uh, we can change the uh, label and the alt text in this same pop-up window. So I can change this to uh, select a category. And then I'll change the alt text from all categories to just all. For tags, I'll do the same thing. Select a tag. And again, instead of all tags, we'll just say all. And then another option we have in this pop-up window is we can uh, change the order of the taxonomies. So I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to change it so that my tag is displayed on top, my category on bottom, click on set values, and now it should say select a tag, and then all, and select a category, and then all. Another uh, thing to note here is we have uh, the default filters layout is buttons, but we can change this to drop down. And then these uh, text 
the label and the alt text will also affect the drop down text. So if I save this, and then go to the um, front end of this, you'll see that our tag is first, our category is second. Uh, this is the select a tag that I changed the label text to. And here is the all text that is the first option in the drop down. Let's go back and we're going to, this time we're going to change our uh, select post types. So instead of doing post, let's do projects. So I can display any custom post type using Divi Filter Grid. And this will change the items that are displayed in the grid uh, based on this select post types. Now I still need to change the filters that are displayed at the top. The query section only, dis only modifies the items that are displayed in the grid. So let's go down to our filter section. And we're going to click on our multi-level taxonomies. Let's delete these two. And let's choose project categories and project tags. And then I'll change it back to button layout. So now we have our project categories in level one, project tags in level two, and our projects are displayed in the grid. If you have uh, more than one taxonomy, you can add as many as you want. Uh, it's not limited to just two. In another video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple custom taxonomies to the default blog post and other custom post types. And we'll set that up and display those here in the uh, filter section. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Again, you can find the Divi Filter Grid plugin on DiviPlugins.com. Thanks for watching.